Welcome aboard the Independence of the Seas. Looking for a muster station, B19. We're on our way. <laughs> yeah, ready to do the video. Do the video without, uh, without any sound. sound. Because I, well, maybe we shouldn't admit that, but I have seen it a few times now, so I know how to put on a life jacket and uh, what this, the, the emergency horn sounds like. Besides, this is Cruising Queen here. <laughs> cruising Duchess. She says she's promoting herself, Cruising Queen. <laughs> okay. Too ambitious. Yes. It's after 12. We have 30 more minutes. <laughs> yeah, one of the crew members tells us we got here too early, so we got 30 more minutes. Have to come back after 12. But uh, B19 is right here. Lunch. So for this cruise, we actually got the key, and on deck three in front of the main dining room, we checked in our bags for them to hold on to, so, um, which is pretty convenient. So you can see a lot of these bags here are stacked up. and. Um, yeah, they're going to deliver it to our room, so it's nice so we don't have to haul it all around the whole ship. So we are on the Independence of the Seas. Um, we have been ambitious with everything. Um, the muster drill, we got there at like 11.30, and they said that it doesn't start till noon, so I was like, okay, we'll come back at noon. Um, so then we went and dropped off um, our carry-on luggage since we have the key for this cruise. Um, so we did that, and that was at the main dining room. And so we said, okay, so can we get lunch now? Because another benefit of the key is a sit down lunch in the main dining room with the yeah. chops menu. Yeah. And she goes, oh, that starts at noon. So just come back at noon. I was like, we're trying to get stuff done. <laughs> <laughs> we want to get going on our cruise. So um, now we're just kind of walking around, checking out the ship and um, waiting until we can check those items off our list and get going on the vacation. Yeah, so it's a... Uh... So far, pretty nice. We got people it already is. in the pool. Um, it's a nice ship, for sure. So, somewhat similar to the Mariner when we were yeah. on uh, that ship and back in February. But this is kind of a, a Mariner on drugs. It's it's yeah. a it has more uh, amenities to well, it. Well, the Mariner was a Voyager class. Yes, yeah. Independence is a Freedom class, yes. so slightly bigger. Um, this one has. Uh, Seems to be a lot more pool area. Yeah, and it has hot tubs yeah. like going off the ship so you can kind of overlook the ocean a little bit better. Yeah. So it would has be a, fun. a has a bunch of smaller slides and uh, yeah. stuff for kids, so that's nice. Yes. Of course it has the putt putt course, has larger slides, yeah. has the um, the trampoline, the air, whatever they call it. I can't yeah. think of this, the name right now. But there's a lot of amenities, so I think it'll be a fun weekend. Yep. Be short, quick. Yes, too quick. But uh, yeah, we'll get there. Let's get started. All right, now it's noon. Doing our muster station. So hopefully we can get this taken care of. Usually it's pretty quick, which is great. Here we go, here we go, here we go. There's our guy. Okay, so now it's noon. We checked the muster drill off the list. Um, yes, we watched the video. Thirty seconds. <laughs> yes, we know how to put on a life jacket. We'll come here in the event of an emergency, but hopefully it does. But hopefully it doesn't happen. And now we're done. And lunch. I think it's lunch time. <laughs> Super easy. Yes, Loved it. the best part to come out of the whole shutdown was this quick and easy muster drill. Yep. So love it's it. Perfect. Shrimp cocktail. Yeah, colossal, it says. Uh-oh, pretty dropped it. <laughs> but I got it too. So it looks really good. So what'd you get? Um, Was that the fish? It's a fish, yeah. You don't know what kind? <laughs> Branzina. Looks pretty good. Yeah, it's pretty good. Well, I got the burger. Oh, steak burger. Looks pretty good. How's the fish taste? It's very mild. It's good. All right. It oh, thank you. It looks too, huh? Perfect. All right. <laughs> That's a typical gluten-free dessert. Apparently. Oh, what do you care? Look at this. Ooh. You got something. 
beautiful. Right? Yes. So this is a specialized. Beer. Oh, thank you so much. Beautiful. Yeah. Thank you. The, the non gluten. Yeah. <laughs> the sherbet. <laughs> but you also got some fruit. This is a good one. I'm happy now. <laughs> but apparently, regular ice cream has gluten somehow. Oh well. But. How's that trip? Thank you. It's beautiful. <laughs> taste. Taste that. See what that's. It's good. That is really good. I like this more than ice cream. Worked out. It almost looks like a slushy. It's like a shaved ice. Very hmm. oh, good. Yeah. But cheesecake. So, it looks pretty good. You got a lot more than I did. Not fair. <laughs> we just finished our very relaxing and enjoyable lunch that was included with the key so our lunch was in the main dining room um, this is one of the features we were most looking forward to so we could avoid the wind jammer um, it's very quiet you have a table reserved for you <laughs> um, it's a set menu um, so you're not dealing with the craziness of the people trying to um, fight for food and fight for a table at the wind jammer so this is a very nice experience yeah just to give you some perspective of how empty this place is. As you can see, there is hardly anybody around. And what time is it? One? It's just, just before 1.15. Um, 1.15? Yeah. And we got in here right at noon? Yeah. So. A bit of a long lunch, but um, it's a three course meal. Um, you have a choice of a starter, uh, entree and dessert. So it was good. Yeah. I would do it again for sure. Definitely easy too. Because mm -hmm. in the windjammer, as you're mentioning, it's like you're fighting with the wolves over there. Yeah. Trying this, to get your food and then trying to find a table. Yeah, this starts our cruise off on the right foot. Very relaxing and just yeah. kind of going at your own pace. Yep. <laughs> Wanted to see what the windjammer looks like at uh, comparison. 115. So the one thing that's nice though on this ship is the washi washi stations. Washi washi. washi, washi. washi. <laughs> happy happy washi washi. <laughs> Crowded windjammer. You have to find your own spot. So there's Giovanni's. We'll be there tonight. We are, yeah, we have reservations there tonight. But I don't think so because I got it. See, it's hard to, all these tables are full. Food everywhere. Burgers oh, and fries. <laughs> of course, that's what I would have gotten and that's what I did get. <laughs> but, yeah, I mean, it's, it's nuts in here. Very hectic compared to the main dining yeah. room that we had with <laughs> Keith. So, but a lot of choices. Sandwiches. Look at this. There's even a welcome cake. Oh, that's pretty. Welcome aboard cake. That's pretty cool. Grill. What is it? Oh, there's a rice. Rice, of course. What is it? Beans. Crazy busy. Bunch of dessert. I'm going back, Eric. That's so we got chicken over here. Oh, did, you have, did we find the gluten-free section? Come on. No, that's what I was looking for. That? But on the on embarkation day, that's kind of rare. Is it? Oh, there it is. Yeah, it's right here. Look at this special gluten-free section. I don't have very many choices in here. 
But uh, the gluten-free corner. <laughs> <laughs> Very small section. Choice of mushroom, pork, ragu, and vegetable, something or other. <laughs> but there's a section. What do you think? I like it. <laughs> but as you can see, it's there's hardly any seats available. Now. Yeah, we made the about to make the full circle. Still haven't seen an open seat really. What's over here? Oh, more hot dogs and French fries. And then, uh, what else? Of course, at the oh, there's a table. Front of the wind jammer is the bar. Here's there's a, a table. Open table. Oh, there's yeah, a table out there in the front. And then chops grill. Yeah, they. Right it looks here. like they've opened it up so that people can sit there. Yeah. So Giovanni's is on one side of the wind jammer, and chops grill is on the other. So, but extremely busy wind jammer. Highly recommend doing the key because yes. it was <laughs> super relaxing. Yes. His door. Sideways door. Somebody left their hook. <gasps> gray car. What? What is it? Gray? Platinum. <laughs> <laughs> it's only platinum. <laughs> you can request a printed copy of your cruise compass. Oh. Very nice. <gasps> We have champagne oh. <laughs> and macarons. Yay! <laughs> this is awesome. Thank you, Carrie. We have champagne and macarons from Carrie. Thank you. Awesome. Awesome. The key drop-off luggage is here. Yeah. So here's the the macarons and the. The champagne that Carrie got for us. So thank you, Carrie. It's yes, awesome. This is awesome. And then, yeah, with the key, they went ahead and dropped off the items that we left, which we don't have our roll on luggage yet. So Not yet. That will come. We have like a secondary window here. Oh, cool. What is that? Let's... Oh, because is this one of the extended? I don't know. Because it's on the angle? Oh, yeah, maybe it is. This is nice. So we're in a, oh, this is big. We're in a junior suite. Check this out. We have loungers and upright chairs. <laughs> this is so much room. <laughs> this is big. This is very it's on big. The angle. Yeah, so it's the lounge chairs. That's right. This is where the ship starts to jet out. So here, the yeah. rooms are further back, and then the rooms angle out. So. Definitely a pretty large. Uh, this is awesome. Balcony. Oh yeah, and here's that window that you pointed out. Yeah. It's too bad it's only a weekend. This is awesome. <laughs> and then we have a little love seat, which I think. We had a love seat as well on the Grander, but we had two chairs. Yeah. And we have this ottoman chair, which is good. This will be useful. And then we have the coffee maker that exploded on us. Yeah, that's the same coffee maker that we had on the Grander that didn't work out that well. I don't <laughs> even know where you plug it in. Yeah, we're not going to be plugging it in this time. So. <laughs> Let's see. Safe. Nice storage there's a safe this seems like a wider desk or more yeah. space on the desk so yeah they do have a hair dryer right in here yeah so for those inquiring the if a hair dryer is in the included in the room it is so but you are allowed to bring your own as well it is not prohibited to bring your hey, own hey check dryer. this out you're standing Oh, in the, the pole was. was the pole the grander, <laughs> and it's not there. <laughs> so, oh, and look at this. You can, like, kind of separate the room off a yeah. little bit if you're traveling with others. So that's yeah. nice as well. I'm going to close That's the cool. But uh, it's a pretty spacious room. This is a nice room. Now, unfortunately, 
being a slightly older ship, um, again, we don't have the no outlets, outlets the next to the bedside tables. We do have two so, standard outlets and one European outlet. Okay, so yeah, European right here, just and then the two standard um, outlets right there, which is pretty typical um, mm -hmm. on most staterooms. So still mm -hmm. kind of curious where, where you plug a, in the uh, coffee maker. Is this a, no, this isn't a connecting room. This looks no. like a connecting room. Oh, but this is all magnetic. So if you have your magnets with you, that's... That the, that's probably the closet, isn't it? Yeah, I think it's the closet. Oh my goodness, Ooh. that's a huge closet. I can, it's a walk-in closet. This is nice. With the racks and yeah. then really good storage here. We, if we had a long cruise, we could have towel animal storage here. Well, it is towel animal storage anyways, <laughs> because you have like a... Oh my gosh, you know what? That is like a shelf for every day for a towel <laughs> animal. So that's pretty funny. All right. Okay. Bathroom. Bathroom. Lights on the outside. It's a little dated. Oh, interesting. <laughs> it's, little, it's like the first thing you said, it's a little dated. <laughs> interesting. Look at this tub situation. This is a, this is like a tall step into the tub. That is, I mean, it's a, oh, that is a tall step. I mean, I mean just, that comes up to my knee, which yeah. is, I would say at least two feet. Well, maybe 18 inches. You know what that's actually going to prevent is from you not flooding the bathroom like you did last time. <laughs> well, maybe you could and still anything's flood. possible. <laughs> <laughs> so, but yeah, I mean the tile in here, it's the finish dated. is a little dated. The colors obviously show a little bit of that. You do have um, storage on both sides of the vanity. Yeah, that's nice. But still, I mean, plenty of room. Yep. Yeah, you have nice room. Yeah, so, but I mean, the room itself is uh, a pretty nice size, so. Yeah, we'll enjoy this. For a short time, since yeah, it's. I know. It's Friday and we get kicked off on Monday. It's only a three day <laughs> cruise. What's up with that? <laughs> I don't know. Oh well. It'll be a good weekend. Yeah, it'll be quick, but uh, we'll enjoy the short time on here and uh, definitely. Enjoy this. Oh yes, we thanks again, Carrie. That. Yes, thank you, this Carrie. This is awesome. But other than that, it's about it in this room. That's it's about I'd say about the same size as Grander, but um, no pull. No pull. <laughs> and you do have extra room because of how it's angled. Yeah. So it's it's a really nice room. Yeah, this it does fan out uh, going towards the balcony. And the balcony is, you know, such mm -hmm. a nice size too. Yeah. So we'll enjoy the little time that we have out there. Yes. Okay, I'm gonna crack into the champagne. Ooh. Gonna start off the cruise right, which yes. we actually haven't gotten a drink yet. Well, we don't have the drink package. <laughs> so yeah, we usually get it. So we're trying to. Uh, this is gonna work out well Do something for us. a little different this time. Yeah. See how much we actually drink without the drink package. Um, but Michael was talking about wanting to take a nap. And I was saying, well, I'll just grab a glass of wine from the bar and enjoy it on the balcony. But now I don't have to buy one. So that's great. Again, thanks, Carrie. Yes, this thank you. Awesome. This is awesome. Such a treat. Thank you for oh. not pelting me with the cork there. Was I pointed at you? No. I don't know if that would be bad if you did or funny. Probably both. It would be bad. We'd be going to deck one forward for the medical facility. <laughs> <laughs> Which we learned the location at our mustard drill. Thanks, Carrie. Mmm. Mmm. 
What flavor is it? I think it's raspberry. Mm. It's a little bit sweeter than strawberry, so I think it's raspberry. Cheers to a good weekend. Yes. Figured out how to get to the helipad. It's pretty neat. I had to ask. Yeah, well, so we asked, but. Now we know. It's on deck five. Yes. Star Lounge. Yes, you, you can go through the Star Lounge and there's a door. To, uh, to the right as you walk in. Yes. That leads you to a path exterior outside. exterior door, yes. Yeah, or you can access it from deck four to a set of stairs. Yeah, you have to take a set of stairs up. In uh, the forward part of the ship, so just pretty neat. Yeah, it feels nice out here. Nice breeze. Yeah. So, something we wanted to do, or at least I've been wanting to, to get out here somehow. Yeah. That's pretty neat though. So yeah, right here is the set of doors that lead into the star or out of the star lounge. And these are the set of stairs going down the deck four. A little steep. That you can access the helipad. And um, I believe the school bar should actually be right here too. Actually, there's a lot of people still getting on this ship. Yeah, what are you waiting on? Huh? <laughs> Let's just go! <laughs> So this is our first actual drink after opening up the bottle, right? Yeah. Um, so, after three o'clock, it's a rare occasion for us on a cruise ship. Yeah, we tried to start out the scooter bar, but uh, there wasn't enough bar service yeah, on there. Yeah, a little understaffed. So we've made it to the uh, Playmakers. Playmakers. And it's, it's crowded here, but it's, it's, Lots a, of staff. it's a good spot. Yeah. Um, but have we talked about us not getting the drink package on this cruise? Uh, I don't think we've talked about it. So we didn't get the drink package. <laughs> <laughs> we did talk about it. <laughs> um, we wanted to experiment and see um, how much we actually would spend if we only drink the things that we wanted and not just order willy nilly or order more drinks just to meet the goals or the to make the average cost work out. Yeah. Because um, I think it was, it ranges between like 65 and like $72 a day per person. Yeah. Uh, so we wanted to see if we would actually meet that without the drink package. Which so far we are not. <laughs> oh yeah, since we're just now starting well. Like, yeah. I mean, one drink is, uh, what was it, Thir $13 plus gratuity? Plus gratuity 18 percent yeah. I think it is. So, so it's like 16 16 25 or something like that per drink. Yeah. And we just simply got a, uh, what is this, a Grey Goose and Sprite? Yeah. Um, and that's any cocktail. Yeah. It's going to be $13 plus gratuity. So it's not like we didn't want to get the drink package. We really just wanted to see um, yeah. how much we would actually spend. Yeah. And just drink when, you know, we felt like getting a drink. So. It'll be interesting. Plus, this one was kind of set up perfectly to where it's only a three-day cruise. and Yeah. Um, you know, on some of the longer cruises, trying to drink it's eight drinks or something a day gets a, <laughs> it's a little rough. But, uh, yeah, we, we do think that we're going to end up saving money. saving money doing it this route. But, you know, we do have to sign the receipts. Yeah, well, and yeah, I mean, it's fine. we talked about it. Like, if we want a drink, we're gonna we're gonna have something. Yeah. It's just we're not gonna have a minimum we're trying to reach in right. order to make the make it financially make sense. So it'll be, it'll be interesting. Checking out next cruise for the birthday cruise. We got a birthday cruise. We need a book. So next year, definitely wanna take advantage. Like exactly a year. <laughs> <laughs> See if we can get a good deal being on next cruise and uh, get something booked and get some onboard credit. And get the the angled room like we have. Yeah, that we have now. So <laughs> we're a year out, but hopefully we can get a good room. Fingers crossed. Better win something. Just booked. 
And we got a raffle for a hundred dollar on board credit, so. And a bottle of champagne for booking on the first day of the cruise. And <laughs> we should spend a lot of money every cruise to get free yeah. <laughs> champagne. We're going duck hiding. And we're scoping <laughs> out this spot. Even if, Even your, dog if your dog tired. Dog... What? Please don't sit on a sculpture. Put it on his head. That's too far out. People can see it from afar. I'm I, you're gonna make a kid go up there? Yeah, that might be unsafe. Yeah. I don't know. One down. One down? See, here it is, guys. I say put on his head, but I don't know. Someone's gonna have to like walk over here to see it. Well. If someone can easily just go. Oh, look. Can easily put it right on his head. That's gonna be really easy to find. Okay, then it's going right there. All right, next one. The Rainbow Claire Bridge. I wanted to go on the Rainbow Bridge. Is it changing color? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We're headed towards the blue car in the promenade to hide a, a blue duck. I think it's on the other side. It's on the other side? All right. Speed it up. <laughs> <laughs> well, the plan was to put the blue duck by the blue car, but uh, there's a sign that says don't touch. So, that's lame. We wanted to put it here somewhere. All right, we're in the Star Lounge. We just walked outside the Star Lounge. Found this plant here that we can hide that blue duck. Does that look good? Oh yeah, oh yeah. Look at that. That's gonna be tough to find. What Michael think? has a lot of opinions on where the duck should go. <laughs> well, it has to be hard. And then he's like, oh, there's a kid looking, you can't do it there. <laughs> Suggested to put it over here on top of one of these frames. Yeah. There you go. There you go, right at the scooter bar, going into Casino Royale. That one's too easy though, huh? <laughs> oh yeah, that's too easy. Oh well. They're hidden, the first three. The first three, we got more. We have three more for tomorrow. And then two on Sunday. <laughs> so we pulled up to Olive, Olive and Twist. I think so. To get a quick drink before dinner. What'd you get? Berry Delight. Berry Delight. Something like that. It's really good. And I got a painkiller. So both look pretty good. How was yours? Delicious. Okay. Very light. Light and refreshing. Very light? Mm -hmm. Nice. Yeah, try mine. Try mine. Thank you. Sounds like you're the opposite of mine. You'll like this. <laughs> Has like a coconut, slight, slight coconut flavor too. Nice. So this is awkward. We're still learning the ship. We thought we were at the martini bar, olive and twist, olive or twist, whichever. But we sat down, I was kind of looking around, I was like, this doesn't seem like a martini bar. And Michael kind of said the same thing, so I looked up on the deck plan. We were at the champagne bar. Yeah. Olive and Twist is on deck 14. Yeah, we are on lounge. deck 5. Why should not even call the Viking Lounge when we get well, up there? Well, it's not called the Viking Lounge. Oh, I don't great. Think. I think it's called Olive or Twist. So we're going to go check that out. Because After dinner. we were looking for the martini bar. So Yes. Now we know. But so, dinner first. Correction. We had to make our correction. <laughs> Awkward. Nice, we got a spot right by the window. Check that out. Thank you. You're welcome. So our appetizers have arrived. I got the ahi tuna with, I believe, garlic chips and looks like arugula. I love a good tuna sashimi, so this kind of fits the bill. And I got, I'm not sure what it was called, the pancetta he called it, yeah. which she compared it to uh, um, a lechon from the Philippines, since he, our waiter is from the Philippines. Yeah. So I was like, okay, I'll like try that. Attention. So we'll go ahead and try that and see what you think. It's good. 
a light garlic taste. It's very good. I like it. I like it better than tuna sashimi. I need to try mine. So our waiter just brought their gluten-free bread. So, what she had earlier the main dining room, right? Mm -hmm. So same same bread. Mm -hmm. How is it? Gluten-free. Mm -hmm. <laughs> It doesn't look that bad. I mean, it does taste better than it looks. But she's able to use the uh, yeah, the olive oil. oil. Yeah, olive oil and vinaigrette. That's pretty rare. So, I'm happy. How was the the tuna? It was delicious. I really enjoyed it. So my pork belly thing was good too. It was. I mean, I destroyed mine, but it looks like Claire destroyed hers too. <laughs> So it was pretty good. Mm -hmm. I guess I forgot to do a taste test. I kind of just went at it and said, okay. He it. enjoyed it. Yeah, it was good. So our entrees have arrived. I ordered the filet, which has uh, mashed potatoes, broccolini it looks like, and then some kind of a sauce. We have the risotto to share. And Michael actually has the fish that I had at lunch and really enjoyed the branzino. I didn't even realize it's what yeah. you ordered at lunch, but yeah, I really liked it. Um, yeah, it's I looked at it, I was like, oh, what you got? Yeah, so it looks really good. So all this food looks good. So excited to try it. I guess go ahead. She already cut into her steak. Yeah. See if it was cooked right. But it's a pretty thick piece of steak. It is. He, uh, well, she ordered it medium, and he keeps saying, you don't want it large? <laughs> <laughs> so it's kind of funny. Mm -hmm. It's good? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Cool. And we're going to Chops also mm -hmm. at some point this week, <laughs> or this weekend. All right. That's Delicious. Really pink? Yes, it is pink. Well, a little bit more pink. Yeah, a little more a uh, pinkish red. It's it's perfect. All right. Cool. Dessert has arrived. I ordered the only gluten well, one of the only two gluten-free things on the menu, which is the panna cotta, the uh, strawberry basil soup, and then we also have some um, it looks like a thing of jello. <laughs> it does. We do have vanilla gelato to share. Oh, look at this, guys. Look at that. And then I got, I'm not really sure. It was caramelized hazelnut with a chocolate grenache or something or other. But it looks pretty good. So with that ice cream, I think it's gonna be awesome. Mm. How was your? It tastes like pureed strawberries White and basil. Jello thing. I don't know what the jello thing is. <laughs> I'm not too sure what it is. Good. That'll do the trick. It's edible. <laughs> That's it. It's very edible. <laughs> you have to try it with the ice cream. Ice cream must be good, huh? That's real good. Should have gotten like all three of the flavors. <laughs> <laughs> so we have left dinner. We are now in Studio B for the freeze frame ice show. It's freezing. <laughs> um, Wanted to talk about dinner a little bit. Um, I really enjoyed my dinner, uh, but something else that was nice. At, at Giovanni's. At Giovanni's, yes. Something else that was nice was that we did have a table for two, and in the dining room, if you've seen our previous vlogs, in the dining room will be like table for two, and then like right next to us, there's another table for two. Within like a foot. And we're not much yeah. talkers, so we don't really want to talk to anybody else, but other people will strike conversation with us, because you're like so close to each other. And it's just not our thing. <laughs> so um, it was nice because it was more spread out. It was pretty, it wasn't too crowded at all. It was it's probably 25%. 20, yeah, 25% full. So it was, it was a nice atmosphere for sure. 
much less hectic than my main dining room. Yes. So, and that part's nice. A little bit more accommodating for allergies. Yeah. Food was so good. So, it was a notch above the main dining room. Yeah, because it was the kitchen was right there. So yes. they prepared it fresh. Yes, instead of in mass batches. Yeah. And um it was nice to have a different menu because yeah. we kind of got used to the main dining room menu. Um, yeah. So it was nice to have a different menu. So overall, it's a good experience. Got to sit next to the window. It was a little warm. Yeah, I think I got sunburned. With the, uh... <laughs> <laughs> and we're that's laughing about it, but I'm pretty serious. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty bad. Good evening, ladies. But now she's oh, cold. I am freezing. <laughs> so she might have sunburned our arm. <laughs> we needed this amount of sunlight. During dinner. <laughs> yeah, we had a lot of sun in our spot at the dining room. Oh, no, not the dining room, Giovanni's. So we um, just got out of the ice show, which was called Freeze Frame. And it was different hits from the 40s, 50s, 60s, and 70s. And I really, really enjoyed it. Um, I'm sure Michael will put in clips from the show and it might look kind of discombobulated because there's a lot of outfit changes. Um, as you went through each d decade, there was a new outfit change, um, but it was just a really fun, upbeat show. There really wasn't too much of a plot line to it since it was just kind of jumping through the decades, but um, some very talented performers. So I really, really enjoyed it. Yeah, it was pretty good. Um, it's unfortunate we had someone's head in yeah, my view. Yeah, they came in like halfway. So, yeah, they did come in halfway. It was just kind of frustrating, but either way, it was a good show. Um, still impressive to see, you know, what, what ice skaters can do um, in a small rink on a moving ship. Yeah, so. it's very impressive. But, but we just came back to the room notice that we're still light outside we are almost at eight o'clock eastern um and it's just a really beautiful calm calm small waves watching the sunset it's a very nice there. evening so it's, it's pretty perfect. nice it's pretty nice but yeah i don't think we have too much more planned for the rest of the evening I think we are going to pass on the main performance um, in the theater. And I think we're just gonna hang out and just enjoy our first night and probably go to bed early because we're both very tired. <laughs> <laughs> Walked into the shops here to come find a little ship that I always buy and on a different cruises and I'm not seeing it in here. This uh, this one doesn't have as much stuff. I don't know why. I wonder if because it's like the shorter cruise. I can't imagine that's the reason. They don't even have the cruising queen shirt. Have you notice that? Yeah. I just think we need to keep looking. I mean, this might be so? it, but this is our first attempt at looking. Huh. We got leggings. Yeah, they've got some cute stuff. It's just different stuff, which isn't bad. So, I don't know. I guess keep going. But, uh, yeah, the promenade is less crowded now. Earlier was packed. Sorrento's had like some ridiculous line. But now there's like nobody in line, which is nice. Even though I'm way too full. But I still kind of want Sorrento's. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think Trend is going to have it. They only have uh, jewelry in there. What is this? A beauty store with... Uh, Solaire Beauty. Like colognes and perfumes. Cologne, and perfume, yeah, a bunch of Beauty supplies. Types of stuff. That's another thing Michael always likes to get. He likes to get a new cologne. It's duty things. free. See, so they got a bunch of different cologne, perfume, duty free. They usually swap out this middle section with 
stuff. Michael Kors store. So that's cool. Guess the price of that ben, print. You want it, ben? Ben and Jerry. Ben and Jerry's, man. And a candy store next to it. See, I do wonder if it. I don't know, the collection, I usually feel like that's where yeah. the ship models are. So, Cafe Promenade's down here. What are you gonna get a coffee or something? No, that's probably not a bad idea, actually. So, so I got what they some offered. snacks and uh, their coffee bar is down here at Cafe Promenade. Alright, so the collection. Just one of those stores. Ooh, sunglasses. It's going to carry a bunch of different Ray Ban. Guess. Now, Jim. What'd you find? Soft. Very soft. Okay. Stuff over here, a bunch of different shirts. In case you forgot your clothes. It's not a bad it's story. A place to go. <laughs> there are a bunch of different stuff here. In case you forgot your clothes. <laughs> well, not necessarily forgot, but what if uh? You could have had you your didn't. luggage lost. Yeah, had an issue with luggage. There's definitely a store here that we need to sell the cost. So, a bunch of different stuff. What'd you find? Salty salt state life? of mind. Huh? A salty state of mind. Salty state of mind. Look at that. <laughs> it's basically what we felt like when we were just sitting in the balcony earlier. This is awesome. It was nice. So relaxing. Listening to the ocean. Yes. Yeah, couldn't resist. Going to the candy store. What is this place actually called Sugar Beach? I think so. What is that? It's a squishable. Huh? It's a squishable. Feel it. It's soft. Wow, that's soft. Look, it's like cake. I know. What do you do with it? Is that a donut? So these things right here are pretty good. I've heard those are good. Those Caribbean rum cakes? Very good. Man, they got a bunch of different stuff in here. Look at all these different jelly beans, different types of candy. Are you going to get something? Just don't know what. Too many choices? Yeah, it's like... It's like a normal candy store. This is awesome. It smells so good, too. It smells like sugar. Just a look? You're going to get good. something. Um, I know. Hmm. Maybe I'll just get a mix. Get a mix? Yeah. Like. A mix of jelly beans? Oh, literally a mix of jelly beans? Come on. Lame. What, you want us to make our own mix? I don't know. So we found a place that's more our, our vibe. Yeah, vintages. Vintages where they have like. Pretty good selection of wine. Yeah, nice wine list. So we're having, uh, enjoying two different glasses of uh, cabs. Which one did you get? You got the, kind of got, got the Sequoia Grove yeah. cab and I got the Oberon yeah. cab. So both very different, but very good. So either way, this place has, it definitely is more sweet. Yeah, a nice nightcap too. Yeah. But, you know, good wine. Yeah. Good atmosphere. It's not very busy at all. No, it's not. It's not like schooner bar no. or uh, what's the other place? The champagne bar. Champagne bar is pretty busy. Um, and Playmaker. Oh, yeah. Yeah, this place is pretty quiet, but. Nice. I like good it. Good wine, so definitely enjoyable. Well, guys. We're going to end uh, the evening here um, on our uh, embarkation day of Independence in the Seas. So uh, it's been a long day. Yes, we're both it's tired. Been a very long day. <laughs> we got on the ship as soon as you could actually get on the ship. So 
Um, and it's now, oh gosh, it's only 9.30. I know. And so. it's only 8.30 Central Time. So. Yeah. But we did leave Orlando at 9.30, so it's been 12 hours. Yeah. But, I don't know, it's definitely been a long day. But it's been a good one, and um, definitely looking forward to enjoying the ship tomorrow. Tomorrow we dock in Nassau, um, and we are going to stay on the ship and enjoy it for what it is. So we've got a lot on the calendar, um, including exciting origami. So <laughs> what? We have origami? Yeah. Yeah. It's, I did not know about this. It's a sea day, kind of. <laughs> And we were talking about having lunch in Playmakers, which is where we are now. So yes, yes. Um, we're looking forward to that. And we hope you guys join us for tomorrow. So we will see you then. All right, guys. See you guys tomorrow. Bye. Bye.